On the formulas tab, there's a number of categories of functions. One of those categories is called financial. And in that list, you'll find one called PMT, which stands for payment. Now payment's very useful because it calculates a repayment figure for you, a constant repayment figure, based on an amount you borrow at a certain interest rate over a certain length of time. So the classic example of this is a mortgage type scenario. So here we've got a few figures to play with. We're gonna borrow 400,000 at 4.25% over 30 years. Now the payment function goes like this. So you start with equals PMT, open the brackets. Now you can follow the screen tip if you like, but I'm gonna click the FX here just to give you the breakdown so you can clearly see what I'm doing. Now the rate, first of all, is the 4.25%. But imagine that this is a monthly repayment figure we're after. We need to divide this by 12 to get the monthly rate. The next one, N per, is the number of periods or number of payments that you'll be making over the life of your loan. So that's your 30 years in cell B3, but we need to multiply this by 12 to get the number of months over that period. The PV is the present value, that is, how much are we gonna borrow? So in this case, cell B1. You'll notice these first three labels at bold text, the last two labels are in regular text, and that means they're optional. So if you put something in for those, that's fine, it'll use it, but if you don't put anything in, that's fine too. Now the FV, just for your reference, is a future value. Now in the case of a mortgage, after your 30 years, hopefully you've paid it off. But if you take out a shorter loan, like a car loan or a personal loan, you'll make your regular repayments, and then at the end of that period, which is normally three years or five years, something along those lines, a much shorter term, at the end of that, there'll be a balance, like a residual payment, sometimes called a balloon payment, that you've got to pay off to finish paying off your loan. So for example, you might pay back 36 payments, monthly payments of $500, and then at the end, there might be an amount left over of, I don't know, $5,000 or something. So that's the future value if you want to use that. Now the type, it's actually quite important. It says, do you want to pay this at the beginning of the month or the end of the month or whatever period you're using? So if you leave it until the end of the month, you've got an extra 30 or 31 days of interest to pay on top of the standard amount. So on these kind of figures here, we're talking a difference of about $20 a month, you know, somewhere in that region. So I'm going to leave this empty. It's going to assume the end of the month if I do that. So let's click OK. And it tells us that we've got a, a monthly repayment of $1,967.76. It's a negative figure because we owe the bank the money. It's a loan. If you want to display this as a positive figure, you've got two choices. You can either go to your formula and put a minus in front of the whole thing, which actually negates the whole thing and makes the result itself positive. Or the other alternative is to put the minus in front of the PV figure. That is the amount you borrow, which in this case is cell B1. So if you do that, it's basically working with a figure of minus 400,000, and therefore the result is positive. Now we were working with monthly repayments here. So the rate was annual, and the term was also in years. So we had to divide and multiply by 12 to get it into a monthly repayment figure. Now if you want a weekly repayment, you just simply divide by 52 and multiply by 52, and you get the weekly repayment figure if you do that. If you want a fortnightly figure, that's a two weekly figure, you simply divide by 26 and multiply by 26. And that'll give you your two weekly figure. So you just basically manipulate the figures to get it to the unit of time that you're currently working with, whether that be weeks, fortnights, or months. Of course, you could also do it for three monthly or six monthly, if that's the way you prefer to pay. But that's how the payment function works. Very versatile and quite commonly used. So thank you for checking out this video. Definitely subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this. And please share this video with someone you know who might benefit from seeing it. I'll see you for the next one.